the of, like for you, Lou? What was it like for you coming into? What made you even want to come into Tatooine? It's a hard question because the answer just sounds like I'm fucking autistic. That's okay. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> like, real that sounds though. <laughs> that sounds I just think like on you, some <laughs> level of Tatooine, you've kind of got to be a little special Definitely. to get in. You know what I mean? Because a normal thinker would have just left. Yeah, there's no normal thinking here, is there? No, really? No. Like, it, do you know what it is? Tatooine picked me. Yeah. It's a gift and a curse. It, it's like you're obsessed. You know when you hear about people quitting a fucking nine to five job to work fucking a hundred hours a week? Mm. That's kind of how this is, you know? But like, it had picked me before that. I've spoke to people about what I'm just about to say and they go, that sounds like autism. And I'm like, I'm not fucking autistic. Do you know what I mean? Like. Like I had that beaten out of me when I was a kid. You know? yeah, that's <laughs> like, like, yeah, but that wanted me to look me in, him in the eyes when he bashed me. Yeah, that's right. No, 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 I'm joking. He didn't give me any time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I never looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was still asleep. No. <laughs> he only looked at people he respected. That's it. I'm joking, I'm Aww. joking. Burning. What's that? Yeah, yeah. I'm that's funny. Like, oh. <laughs> I wish. No, that's just a joke. But when I would, when we would drive in the car, I would trace everything in my mind. Mm -hmm. The houses, a trash can, a telephone pole, anything. And that's what I would do constantly. I would trace everything in my mind. And then when I went to draw it, I would have, I guess like a bit of a photographic memory of it I would remember how it was and I would do it in order to be able to draw but I didn't want to I'd be like I just want to be able to stop I want to be able to fucking stop fucking doing this shit you know what I mean it would yeah. fucking it would wreck me bro I'd fucking hate it and um so when people say I would love to do this you're like the fuck are you talking about bro you know what I mean do you know what I'd love to do just just be a plumber dude like what are you talking about you yeah. know what I mean yeah. like th this it's it's one of those things like you, you might like the outcome at the end of it where you like you know you might see someone being handed over a bit of cash but you didn't see the like like I, I don't mind being on my own it, it's good being around yeah. you guys because like I fucking love you guys yeah. and it's it, and just like you said it's like family we yeah. text each other all night we laugh all day yeah we're such on the fucking same page for me personally i'm like you know my mind's in split in two like i'm, I'm with the shop but also you're problem solving the tattoo on the other yeah. side and you, you you could be panicking and laughing at the same time so your client <laughs> just thinks everything's fine because you need them to think <laughs> it's fine it yeah absolutely you know, fine. like i was had on a dude's head the other day he bled more than I, I, there was blood everywhere i had blood going everywhere i couldn't do anything but i'm just joking and laughing from my end it looked like i was doing brain surgery on him i was just like there is blood everywhere the tattoo came out really good and i still posted it but during that time yeah my head would have definitely had a different face to what my actual face did <laughs> I, I feel, That's, yeah. sorry. all i was gonna say is i feel like in every tattoo it from when you do your first line to when you shade color whatever your brain is constantly going through like maybe this isn't right or maybe it's, you, your brain's going through steps and like different modes of like like panic I guess yeah until you get to the end and you're like oh that actually looks fucking sick you know yeah. what I mean and like every tattoo there's more pieces to the puzzle mm. yeah so if you've got a tattoo that's like more complex it's no harder or easier but there's just more pieces to yeah. that puzzle so there's more times for you to have yeah. that oh shit have I fucked up yeah and people don't know that yeah uh, yeah. yeah every time you, i could do a little bit of shading you're like oh that's not very smooth it's kind of dotty but then more i'm going to go over that the more it's going to be yeah because it's a project you know. so every every project yeah. has an ugly stage yeah it's every and that's, step. that's like, when you're like i should probably put the air con on i'm starting to sweat a bit yeah. and you're like oh, i'm at my ugly stage they're like that's always the moment my client's like can i get up and have a look and i'm like please this is not that time you're like we're not there we're yet. not ready for you to look yeah. at this yet you know because yeah. they they look at you, they're like, oh, nice. And you're like, <laughs> you can't see it. I know you can't see it. Sometimes, sometimes I find if you're doing like a colour piece and you're trying to put all your, like just your darks in, put all your, your blacks in. and It's, it's going to look pretty and, dark. It's going to look kind of dark, you know what I mean? And they're like, oh, I want to jump up and have a look. And you're like, I'm going to put colour over the top of it. Like, I don't need to. Because if you don't, and once the colour tattoo is done, you're like, oh, maybe I should 
Should have actually put more in. Yeah, you kind of want to put a blanket over them yeah. while you do the tattoo and they get to see it at the end. You're like, please don't. And I don't know if I was told it in person or I saw it on a DVD really early in my career. But um, it, it was it was either an artist I looked up to or an artist like, yeah, like I said, on a DVD. Mm. And I was like, I like you. And it says, if you don't panic at all through your tattoo, you no longer have a passion for it. Mm. Yeah, bro. And I, when I first heard that, I was like, eventually that should go. It's definitely never gone. If anything, the, the panic kind of gets worse because the tear you're trying to tattoo on as you get further through your career is so high. It's so much further to fall. Yeah. yeah. And so the panic's there. So you you know you're passionate about because in a normal day-to-day job, you just don't care. You're yeah. like, I'll just do it tomorrow. There's no tomorrow for us. Once the tattoo's done, that's today and will always be today. And if they never come back, you really fucked up today. Yeah. Yeah, no. the, and the client's perspective sorry um, expectations expectations are always higher every time that they come in you know oh, they're yeah. showing you pictures of the best in the world and it never yeah. gets they're, they're never showing you something shit yeah they're like I've picked this I had a woman the other day lovely woman she goes I went in for this and she shows me a wolf not it wasn't she didn't get the tattoo in my shop or from me but she got a tattoo from a of a wolf and it was pretty, it was average. It was average. It was yeah. Average wolf. Mm. And she goes, it was supposed to look like this. And this was above average. <laughs> <laughs> this was extraordinary. <laughs> this was a very good a wolf. oil painting. painting. Yeah, it was, it was a painting. It, it, was, it was best in the world. So she went and flicked through and had a look through Google and picked the best motherfucking thing in the world. Yeah. Because she was looking of course. for the best in the world and, the best and she was just like I'll just take this yes. yeah give me that <laughs> I want this please yeah and she got average yeah like the reject shop <laughs> version you know yeah. what I mean? you, do you know what and she was, lo- and she was actually lovely yeah. she, she came was, in the yeah. other day yeah she was a beautiful beautiful chick yeah. you know beautiful do you know what's really funny about it I was putting up wolves and yeah. she was commenting on my wolves saying yeah, that looks really good. I came in for this, showed a picture of her wolf, yeah. and goes, but this is what I got. So everyone thinks that he's... Like, oh, so he's then he's your it. tattoo? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would think that. You yeah. would have thought that. Yeah. So did all my other clients. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. She, but I, when she came in, I did say to her, what are you doing? No, I was like... Because hey, oh, like, I said, look, I could put some... Like a landscape behind her, yeah. like do some trees, some stuff. Make it look like it's not a floating head. Make it look like a bit better, you know. Mm. But I can't cover it because it is pretty dark, you know. And she said, when she came in, she's like, "So how are you going to cover this?" And I was like, <laughs> "Damn." With a t-shirt. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Like a long sleeve. If you can cut it off. It's yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Do you like a bowling ball? Yeah. yeah. An eight ball. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. An eight ball. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I can see your future. You're gonna be upset. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a blade in the back. We can cut it off. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's the expectation. People's expectation, yeah. man. Like, yeah, they're, they're they're high, man. Like, you, you can't get away with a bit of nothing. You know, I don't know how people do, because um, I try my fucking heart out, and it, and it's cool that you hear my mate Gus mm. just say like. Yeah, you get fucking reamed, and it, and and that's what I think as well. Like when people want to get into it, it's like, look, man, you're gonna be taking some deep looks at yourself, man. Like you know, some real soul searching. Yeah, you know? mm. and um, you're not gonna be impressed. Yeah, most mm. days. It, would you say it's like? Um, it, was, it sounds like you guys would be struggling with anxiety all the time. That was a rough state of mind, like. Maybe not struggling, but it's definitely there. Like I said to my wife, I believe that every person that you see and you talk to, it's for a reason, you know? And this guy the other day was talking about having anxiety. And with anxiety, like this is what I do for anxiety, truthfully. Yeah. And I'm going to get to the, to the truth here, right? This is what I do for anxiety with Tattoo One. I can't think about two tattoos ahead. Mm-hmm. So what I do is... I have my wife do my bookings. She will show me a picture. She'd be like, can you do this? 
and I'll analyze it. I'll be like, have I got tricks for that? Can I put my best foot forward to that? Yeah. And fucking crush it. And if I if I haven't got tricks for that, I've never se- like it could be an idea too. It might just not be a photo. It might be like an idea. And I'm like, have I seen anyone do it in the past? You know, have I ever done something like that in the past? So I go through my index at the time. If it's complex, I won't get back to them straight away. I'll be like, I'll be thinking about it. It could be a day. But usually it's straight away. I'll, I'll get back to them straight away. But then on the day, I don't know what I'm doing day to day. And it will be in the morning. My wife will tell me. So I'm not thinking about several tattoos ahead. It'll be yeah. fresh. If I have a day, so I used to work, um, start at one or something. I think I was starting at one or two. So I could have like a bit of a day with my wife beforehand and you know. Oh yeah, I remember when you were. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Fucked right up because the thing is, I was thinking about the tattoo all fucking day and (laughs) overcooked it bro in my mind, right? Got too creative, right? And then I think you need to be, for myself, I need to be uh, spontaneous and it needs to be organic and it needs to happen on the fly. And without that, I fuck up. So that's how I try to combat the anxiety for that. In, in a strange way, sometimes if something is, say, in your head, it's a bit fucked up, I can still just laugh about it. I can just be like, how's, like, stressing out with this fucking thing? You can, like, you just got to fucking do it. Like, yeah. I know like, that sounds I, weird. But. I, think, I think everyone has anxiety. I do. I, I you know, I, I, can, I guess I can kind of see where Lou's coming from in a way. If you have a yes. car and you lock it and walk away, you have anxiety someone's going to kick it in. Yeah, it's, That's um, an anxiety. So, yeah, we are super passionate about our job. Our anxiety is like, I hope they like it. I hope they like it as much as I do. And then an even more stressful thing, I hope they like it forever. Yeah. yeah. Forever. That's yeah, a big word. a long time. Forever yeah. till you die. If you get a sleeve at 18, you better like it till you're 90. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you need right. to build the tattoo. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's nice at 90. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. if not, man... If they're not happy five years down the track, yeah. they will drag your name through the fucking mud. Yeah, yeah like somehow it's and your they fault. they forget yeah. when you said, hey, um, those those loops on those E's are going to close over. Like, you know, you need to go a bit bigger, whatever. They're like, I don't want to. Hmm. It's like post-nut yeah. depression, but for tattoos. Oh, look, but the thing is, everyone's made mistakes. Like, the, truthfully, yeah. in order to get any good, you've needed to make mistakes. Yeah. yeah. And you've made fucking stacks. And that's the hardest thing, right? So to get better, you've needed to just make all these fucking mistakes. Now, when another mistake comes in and they're saying the same thing, right? That's anxiety. You go, I'm not going to be making this same mistake again. Yeah. yeah. I had, fuck. But you've got to convince them. Yeah. That's the hardest bit. What you need to do, I think, right, is say, I'm, I'm like, I'm doing it for you. Yeah. Like, I've been here yeah. before and, and you need to show vulnerability. That's the truth. And that's what, I guess what we're doing now. Yeah. We're showing vulnerability because that's what we are. We're like, we've been here before. We've worked our heart out and still yeah. fucked up, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, outside of the um, skill. Because you could do something nice on the day, mm-hmm. but it's uh, two years down the track that it looks shit. Yeah. You know, and everyone's made mistakes. And we're going to make more. Yeah, yeah, fucking oath. Because we're yeah. human. Have you ever yeah, absolutely. abused a 14-year-old at McDonald's for getting the wrong order? No. Never. No, you don't anymore. You don't. <laughs> yeah. Anymore. It's, a, it's, a, it's so easy to fuck up. Yeah, you you're like... You don't, yeah. yeah, like, it's okay about that muffin because yeah, you made 60 million today. Yeah. yeah. And if I did 60 million tattoos... I would want forgiveness. Yeah, you've been at school yeah, 100%, all week. <laughs> like, 100%, you've got man. school after this. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, you it know definitely makes I mean. you humble. Yeah. Like, yeah, whenever I go anywhere to eat or wait anywhere or anything at all, I'm cool as fuck. I'm chill as fuck. Yeah, wait so and we get treated the worst now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get treated like a dog when I go. You know. Sometimes I've had it where like, people have come in after me, waited, complained about waiting. I'm like, dude, I've been here way longer than you. Like, what? I'm chill. Like, yeah. like, come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, chill out. It's fine. Yeah, so yeah, it, it is an interesting. It's a very interesting job for all of that because you take it all out there, and then you, you kind of respect people in a different way, um, yeah. and that's never reciprocated back in. No one's nice to us. No, <laughs> no. I get lovely clients, but like, yeah, no, no, okay, okay, no, 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 no,
because <laughs> people will see this. 99% of our clients are fantastic and we love them yeah. and they laugh with us. They're like you, they're like other people. It's great. There will just be one that will come in and we're lucky enough it's never like three at a time and the shop's full yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it'll be one and we all give each other this look. Like We know that yeah. what they're about to do is like quicksand. And I got it. I got you, bro. I'll throw a rope in. <laughs> You're not here by yourself. And yeah, then if yeah. they're finished tattooing, we're just sitting on the couch because we're not going to leave you here alone. Yeah, don't, You're don't in let quicksand. him go. So, yeah, we're not saying all our clients are bad at all. Yeah. Like, it's just, there are some that you're kind of like, wow, yeah, you really made me work for this. This is hectic. And you're on the extreme end of like um, the service industry. That's basically what it is, isn't it? Like, mm. Like, uh, like um, if, you, if you're a bartender or something, you're in the service industry. If you're in retail, you're in service. Yeah. Um, and you guys are getting the most extreme versions of that. As in, like, you're providing a service for people. They're the ones that, if they don't want the service, then you don't get business. Super important to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I think there's something special in that as well, though. You know, any, any sort of extremes you find, like, um, oh, look, I've cleaned people's cars for a living. Yeah. I've worked at Happy Wash. Shout out to them. <laughs> um, BP. <laughs> 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 yeah. but, like, Name drop, yeah. This was really funny, right? When I worked at BP, there was no manager, right? There was a chap and he had like earrings and stuff, you know? And, um, you know, they're conservative chaps, yeah? And... Um, there should have been a manager there, but they wouldn't give this dude like a manager right. title. I mean, I think he'd been there for like ever. Poor fucker. Yeah, he, you know, he was like He's Canadian and he was like, he had a chip on his shoulder as well and he yeah. fucking hated me, you know, because I'm a ledge. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get it. No, I was fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get the hate. Yeah. 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 But um, I remember this. People would come in with a problem, right? Usually justified too, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they wanted their car cleaned and they were getting <laughs> a subpar. <laughs> like, yeah, was, you just took the change out of the console. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cleaned it. Yeah. Like, you took all the gold caps. That's my yeah, tip, bro. You just took my hubcaps, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, hey, can I at least have my keys back? It's like you're siphoning petrol out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like you took like, my sheepskin car seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's my Ed Hardy, like, fucking yeah, like, steering wheel well, cover? Yeah. Alec Kitty was. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> dude. The Ed Hardy steering wheel yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It was before Ed Hardy, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. uh, tattooing. So play Sorry. boy. Yes, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Or like there's a the the seat covers that have like the butterflies on it and shit. And it's always in like a Hyundai Gets or some shit. Yeah. Some yeah, really yeah, shitty yeah. No small car. No Hyundai Gets were getting um, their shit cleaned though. But I had a guy come in and he asked like, "Who's the manager?" And there was no manager. And I looked at him, who, who was the manager? Yeah, you know I mean? but really not. Bernie. And he's just like, and I, but it was going to be a complaint. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, yeah, it's me. And he complained. Mm. And I just said, sure. He goes, look at the windows, they're fucking shit. And I was like, you're right. <laughs> I was like, I'll just clean them. <laughs> and and ser seriously, yeah. like when you said, sure, like I'll just do them. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, you're right. You're actually right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it, their tone completely changed. And then they apologized and they were like, I would get people saying, you're going to do really well in business and stuff. And I was like, and they go, because you love your job. And I was like, I fucking hate this. <laughs> I'm cleaning dirty fuckers' cars, bro, for the Sheehan's for $10 an hour while I'm 20. 20. Illegal. Anyway. Um, <laughs> is it? Is it? That's not illegal, is it? Yeah, fuck That it. pay award, yeah. Oh, 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 I think oh, yeah, yeah. working. Yeah, like, same. No, yeah, we're on the same page, yeah. yeah. You're like, you should have been working at 20. No, the, the, That's child slavery. Yeah, yeah. 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 $20 yeah. an hour? $10 an hour at 20? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Sorry, I thought you meant the age of like... The yeah, same, pay. dude. Yeah. But it's so interesting when you... When you can just change it, right? Like, mm -hmm. say you work at McDonald's and you get the wrong order and you're like, okay. Yeah. I'll just fix it. Yeah. That sh usually should be the end of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. With this, it's like, sometimes you can't fix it. Yeah. 
And some, sometimes their ideas, they're like, hey, I want this covered. And you're like, okay, cool. And, it's, and they want it solid black. And you're like, okay, I could do it solid black, a solid black bird. And they go, yeah, 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 yeah. I go, I could do it solid black. It's a solid black, solid black, solid black. And they go, yeah, with white in it. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 I can't do white in it. Didn't say that. And they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just... Just solid black then. Yeah, yeah. With white in it. You're like, so, sorry, what? Yeah. I did. Like, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, no yeah. white. No yeah. white. No yeah. white. And they go, yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah, black bird. That's what I said. Yeah. But yes. some white in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just with, with a little bit of... With hit, some hit, 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 yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. Put some water colour behind it. You're like, you need to get a lawyer down here to sign off on shit. <laughs> yeah, like a justice of the peace <laughs> or something. You know. Yes, like, dude. Yeah. JP. You need a JP. Yeah. <laughs> My old boss was, was a JP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not for that. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> just because it's a sick yeah, no, yeah. Look, it'd be a rad thing to be. Like. <laughs> yeah. You need to be, bro. Yeah. No, because, yeah. And you need it in writing, for sure. But then the more... So the best tattoos is when you can make alterations on the fly. Of course. Because if someone moves and you go, oh, okay, well, now we need to do shading off that line that you just fucked... But if there are people going, hey, I had a photograph mm-hmm. that I want. It, it needs to be exactly like this. They're like, yeah, but you weren't exactly like that, were you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're sitting yeah. dead still. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember when we were rocking that line yeah. and you dropped your iPhone on my head? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You were rocking. Yeah. But I mean, with certain Im- like imagery and stuff like that, like, Things are like organic and stuff, it doesn't really matter because you're like, oh, I'll make a fucking pedal a little bit different then, or I'll make, you know. But if it's like Nana's nose or Nana's eye or something, it's like. Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, or, the, yeah, or yeah. Nana written. Yeah, well, that, that's right. Mm. Yeah, something, yeah. And now instead of it being an A, it's a Y. Yeah. yeah. I guess that would be You insane. get Nanny. <laughs> you get Nanny. Yeah, that, that's actually fun. <laughs> yeah, 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 you have to work with it still. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you like the show, The Nanny? Because I can tell you, I can tell you it's to The Nanny. Bro. You put the Fran, Fran on there? Yeah. Yeah, dude. You can get 100%. But you also, like, in the in the industry, you got to appreciate some of the ball busters because some of my best work is on the ball busters because they, they really pushed you to a limit you had to go to. Like, you didn't actually know you could do it, but, like, you knew that if they were going to get up and it was less than perfect, you weren't finished yet. So they, they do push you. They They... They, they, they want the most fussiest stuff. They're the pickiest people. Mm. But I guess they do show you your 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 worth at the end. Like, yeah, to be them. better. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty sick. Do you know what I find funny about that is every time, not every time, but every time it's like that for me, they need to be out by two. Oh yeah, go get a picture. Oh, they're they're buying a car. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, what? Yeah, they're looking at a VL later or yeah, something. Yeah, they don't have all the money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Right. that's right. They don't have all the money. Yeah, they're like, I'll come yeah. back later. No Actually, day. I have to go work tonight to get you the rest of the cash. <laughs> like, yeah, they go buy a car but couldn't pay yeah. at all up front. <laughs> oh, it's for a VL though. Dude. Yeah, that, that actually happened. Oh, yeah. that's a real story. Oh that's shit, dude. Story. Yeah, that that actually fucking happened, bro. He was here burning. You're burning? Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked, bro. It is fucked. I would be so angry, man. Oh. Yeah, that's fucked. Well, that's just the humble thing again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, you're like, it's hard because when you do all that and then they throw out, you know, I thought we were friends. It's like, oh. So, well, I've done my job and I've done what yeah. you wanted me to do. Yeah. least you can do is at least pay for yeah, it. Yeah, well, that's not right, is it? I mean, it's a really odd thing though in Australia where, um, and this isn't just to you guys, but... For some reason, business owners, when you start a business, all your mates think that they can get like a free deal or something cheap. They weren't mates. But yes, yes, yeah, but I just don't agree with that. Like, I think it, if anything, you should be wanting to give your mate even more money, you know, like support your friends in their in their business ventures and, That's and trying to build them up, you know, not the other way around. Like, oh, yeah, uh, Lou just started a business. I'm going to go get a free tattoo. Like, wait, wait, my dad was so generous with me. Mm. He, he was saying to all his friends, like, yeah, just go to Louie. He'll do it for free. Nice. Yeah, well. And I'm like, I don't even know this person, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Not even like an uncle or something, just yeah, a uncle. rando. Yeah, just a Definitely rando. Definitely not. Because no, <laughs> then you put a price value on that and then they all disappear real quick. Yeah. How's this, right? This guy and said to me, he goes, at the end of it, you're like, can I get this yeah. logo? And I go, what, the Ford logo? He goes, yeah. Go, yeah, sure, man. He goes, no, but this 
forward logo. I go, yeah, if you've got it there, I can just trace it and do it, man. And it's for free. I go, yeah, like, come in at 10 tomorrow. And he goes, nah, it's a bit late for me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up at four. And I go, <laughs> for nine? And he goes, nah, it's not going to work for me, mate. I'm up, uh, you know, six, six is more. Uh, and I was like, for free, I need to get up at five to tattoo the Ford logo. <laughs> Could be holding. You're like sounding like a Ford fucking owner. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, so after I did the tattoo. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah, there's something about the free where you do scared. Yeah. You can get in on the most busiest days. You, you get pick of the choice. You get everything. Yeah. You still want it for free. It, it is. It does suck. It makes you not want to actually have any friends at all. I mean... <clears throat> that's pretty rough. Well, we, yeah. Do well, we though? No, no. But that's it. I, I don't. I, I'd be like, I'd be super interested to know how many tattooers do have friends outside of tattooing. Because, mm. well, like, you kind of have to hold people at a distance. Because then they start expecting a lot. Like, I only tattooed a dude twice, and then he thought I could not pay you. <laughs> so who was that? Well, that was the whole. I got to go buy a VL. Like, I only just tattooed him a couple of times. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, you kind of got to be like, n- no. Look, I think. I think when you first start having like a close friend or two that you don't charge and they're super cool, super chill, mm. that you kind of do whatever you want and practice, that's real yeah. important. A hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? Like that's important. So I had like two friends well, you years did. ago yeah. when I started. Yeah. Brad and someone. I've tattooed them since and I've just charged him and whatever. Yeah. Um, but that's like that, real that's important to have. And all yeah. That, I've had mean? this. Do you want to hear my stories, bro? <laughs> yeah. How's this, right? This is funny. And this guy goes, <clears throat> um, hey man, I need someone to help spot me. It was a tattoo, like someone that I was tattooing. Yeah. Uh, you know, because I'm doing 110 kilos. Sometimes I get stuck on my belly, you know, whatever. You know, once a week, it would be handy if we could maybe do something together. And I was like, yeah, actually, that sounds pretty cool, man. Cool. Like, it's actually, you know, we can help each other out. Cool, whatever. Started tattooing him, like, uh, sorry, training with him. Three weeks in, he's like, yeah, I should really get, be getting paid for this, eh? I was like, sorry, sorry, what? And he's like, yeah, like a personal trainer. And I'm like, well, you're, not a, you're not a personal trainer. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you yeah. don't even work, you don't yeah. have a job. And he goes, oh, yeah, that's man. the thing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, people that's have been saying like, the fuck? you know, yeah, like, uh, yeah, I should be uh, getting paid for this. Sick of being taken advantage of. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but, but it, I, I could see straight through this yeah. manipulation, it's like, Maybe you should be tattling me for free. And it's like, dude, like, wrong. Can't, can't you catch up with a friend? Shit. Everything, even a guy, right? And we all know him, actually. I was at the gym and this guy goes, hey, uh, do you want to do back together? I was like, all right, sure, man. Like, and we started doing, you know, back exercises and like, one for one, you know, like he would do a, you know, a row and I'll do, he'll do a row. What the fuck, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then at the end of the session, he goes, yeah, I'm a personal trainer actually, you know what I mean? Like, so, uh, oh, that is fun. What the it's fuck like, like picks that? out a meter and puts it down. I was like, it's, imagine this, you pick up a chick, right? You just fuck her and go, I'm actually a professional. And you're like, yeah. Sorry, what? You're like, <laughs> a professional, actually, like, wait, you're a lawyer? They're like, I'm a hoe. So, yeah, uh, that was actually a thousand dollars. Hey, dude. Oh, yeah, man, I've got bills to pay. Yeah, it's yeah, that's, that's <laughs> that's that's that mouth That is quite shitty. I had shitty, someone isn't? befriend me, and yeah, like, like you, like, you kind of see that someone wants more. And they were like, yeah, I just want to work here. And I was like, no. Like, because I knew they just didn't have any work ethic. Like, because they were previously working at a. Different studio, but they yep. just weren't at the same time. And yep. I was like, nah. This one hang and out. As soon as it was like that, it was just all tires cut completely. But I didn't care because I, I knew that that's what they wanted. Yeah. You know, yeah. there was no friendship in it. It yeah. was just like, I'll just befriend you and get the job. Yeah, get you know? used. Yeah, fuck that. Sounds but very transactional, man. Sounds like. Do you find that, so? That's a. Do you think there's a lot of people that aren't in it? Then Every, everyone. That's everyone. That's how they are. You don't have friends. From you said it. Yeah. You said it. Fucking one hundred percent right. You don't have friends, man, because yeah. you can't so have fucked, them in because they're free. Yeah. The, like, and, and then anything they do, yeah, it's yeah. like, hey, well, fucking. Do you remember that time that like I came around? You're like, yeah, and they're like, like well, when I come around you, I give you a thousand dollars. I mean, like, 
Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, what, bro? I gave you a tattoo. Like, oh, for, yeah. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you buy a telly and they don't have a telly. So they're like, remember when I drew a stick figure? Yeah, I can do what you do now. And it's like, what the fuck, dude? No, like, you have your job, I've got my job. This is actually mind-boggling to me, hey? Yeah. Like, I understand exactly yeah. where you guys are coming from, but it's just crazy that people are like that. Well, I think I everyone think has, this... like, an old... Ulterior, whatever the fuck. Until you're, until you're that that yeah, comes right back yeah. to the start, the very start. That because because we have done it for so long, mm. and you know, on a day to day basis, you are kind of acting in front of your client. Yeah. You're not you're not fake, but you're acting. You're no, like cool, yeah. happy. You were making it look easy. Yeah. Inside, you're dying. You're mm. you 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 can get kind of really dark inside yeah. when you're tattooing because you're quiet and you're thinking and you're like, what the and fuck? the bigger the tattoo. You know? Yeah, and the quieter the shop, more the thought, more thinking, yeah. more thought. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like we, we we tattooed here the other day, and it was a good day. It was a very quiet day in the shop. Everyone was thinking. You know yeah. what I mean. So, and we reflected after too. Yeah, that was good. but where I was going with that is, um, because we do make it look easy, everyone just assumes that they can just do it. Yeah, it, it's fine. And I just, I, I really wish there was a tattoo show out there, and it just showed people. Really in a shop. Really done it out proper. Yeah, you know I think that I mean? this was this yeah. is why we wanted to talk about yeah. this today. Yeah, because everyone thinks their fourteen-year-old fucking son and daughter can do it because you know they draw on the back of their assignments. Uh, look, yeah. I don't look like a you know alternative fucking emo person mm. with a screamo background. You know what I mean? Like, but you can't see someone's talent. Like, yeah. you, you, you didn't see... I, I wasn't hanging, playing footy at recess. I was, draw, I was drawing. Yeah. I was drawing at recess. I was doing people's uh, cover... You, you know when you have, like, a... Like a title page. The title page. Yeah. I did everyone's title page. I didn't even have one of my own. Yeah. Because I was doing everyone else's. Yeah. People give me tiny teddies. All through school. But, like, for, for currency, like, I was getting paid then. Like, you know... We no, didn't, I was doing it for free. We, we weren't getting... Well, okay. I w there was a kid called Sean Rubery, bro. And he had... Look, I never wanted to be adopted. I thought that that would be like a bit of like, a, oh, shit, you know, your parents never wanted you, whatever. But this motherfucker was actually like adopted. And he had parents that cared about him. <laughs> and they would give him food. <laughs> <laughs> lucky That's bastard. Fun. What do you mean? In his lunchbox? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like he would have... Things in his lunchbox. He would have like burger rings and like all, all sorts of other shit. Yeah, no shit. And then they would come with cooked food in recess and lunch. What? They, they would the bring food. him food. Yeah, bro. Oh, and, fuck. and 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 he clicked it. up with me, bro. And he was just like, "Wow, you're so good at you know whatever." And he had like dinner. he had CDs before like people had CDs. You know yeah. what I mean? And he was like, you know, and and he had like he had the spider bait CD. Oh, whoa! Well, watch well. out! And I was like, watch really? Out. really? The CD. People looking on, they're not going to understand how this all came about. Yeah. Aaron was here and he just wanted to draw. He just wanted to spend the time here. And when you guys came, you, you were like, what's going on with Aaron, man? Like, he should be tattooing now. Hmm. And I said, look, I want Aaron to go about his own pace. You know, um, he was doing the odd tattoo and like... It's scary. Like, you know yeah. when you do, you do a tattoo for the first time and you go and you have all the confidence in the world and you think that you could do, like, mm. all of it. Mm. And then you realise... You can't even... Like, you can't even do anything, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's fucking brutal. Yeah, and it's brutal you get to a level psyche. that you then go to crown floor. <laughs> like, there's low, you go lower once you do your first tattoo. You're like, oh, wow, oh, shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and and because I remember, and I'm not throwing you under the bus because we've all been here. Like th this is the thing, like we've all been here. Um, I did tattoos that were traditional on your arm, and you're like, oh, if my first tattoos don't look like this, I'm gonna be pretty unhappy. And I'm like, <laughs> 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 no, no, no. And I know that that sounds like harsh, and we're all laughing, and you're laughing, you know. But like that, that's how you feel when you first tattoo. Yeah, yeah. You, you feel like. Hey, give me fucking six months and I'll be better at all these fucking scratches, dude. You know what I mean? I'll burn everyone. What do you know? You don't know nothing. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're a fucking boob. 
and then you do your first tattoo and like you're doing a line and say the lines like this and you're like and then you're like oh, what the fuck was that and then the people looking on you are like okay don't do that and you're like i don't I don't know if this is for me. I guess when I would set the machine up, I was so paranoid about blowing it out that I would have the needle coming out fuck all. But then obviously as you do the line... You can't, you can't see, see where it is. You see fucking nothing, really. You see, you see a fuck all. I had metal tubes. And so... Was it a pointed one? It was yes, a pointed. Got, it was an angled yeah. tube. Angle tube. Oh, the yeah. best tubes yeah. you could buy. You know what I mean? Is it Brett Stewart? Brett Stewart, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was Brett Stewart. Because yeah, you Brett spend Stewart. all your money on Brett Stewart first. That's what a tattooist does. Brett yeah. Stewart gets all your money. Um... <laughs> And Craig said, don't hang your needles out because, you know, you're starting out, you're shit. Yeah. I didn't hang my needles out. My client's like, you're really digging that tube in. So what I was doing was, I might have not have been digging the needle in, but I was pushing the tube into his arm and I was gouging him with the fucking angled tip of the tube. Because you're so nervous. You're like, if I just plant it against you, it can't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll get the same depth. Wait, wait, wait. My first three three years of tattooing, that's how I did it. Yeah. I was doing really good work. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, if it's in you, I can't Were you doing clean clean lines? Yeah. Look, I don't mind that. I, no, I know that but that it sounds took bad. the client to be like, hey, bro, can you just lift it up a little bit? And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I was just scratching the hell out of him with the tube as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I would do that. Oh, this is going to sound really bad, right? But I would have a scrape mark from. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you kick it up on the side and you have like a dead, scrape dead. and a line. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, so you have a bruise in. along there from the actual fucking pointed tube and, yeah. the, and the fucking needle. We'll get some nice lines like yeah. that. But the thing is, no. the only people that will understand <laughs> this is like other tattoos. Nice However, you do nice lines. Yeah. So the proof's in the pudding. Yeah. I know that you got two lines. No, that, that one wasn't good lines. That was two lines. Two good lines. That was two, two good lines. Yeah, that's yeah, straight. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I had to do was I had to thicken the whole outside and colour it in. Yeah, but at see. the same time, that's <laughs> not even that bad because that just makes you, you're just adapting anyway. You had to. Do you know what I mean? You had to. You can't just be like, well, there's three fucking lines there. It's like, well, now yeah. we're going to have to change because something. Because... You know, and, and we're talking about 16 coming up 17 years ago. Tattoo apprenticeships weren't, you were stuck in a room and there was a, a teacher above you. Because in your mind, that's how you think it is. Yeah, sure. But he's got yeah. shit to do. Yeah, he's also so, making money. So what he does is he sets your machines up and walks away. <laughs> okay. And you're like, cool. Um, it's sink or swim and I'm not a sinker. Yeah. So um, <laughs> fucking we're going to be here. My first tattoo, I'm there, I'm about six, seven hours into it, which is a long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I realise I'm colouring him in solid black with grey wash. No one... So grey wash is watered down grey. You're not like going to get watered it down black. black. Yeah. But I spent so long on it, I turned it black into him. Fuck, dude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was solid. Yeah, Just there were photos him. of him days later, still in bed. His whole, <laughs> arm, his whole arm is purple, but it's in there. Oh, dude. Is it still there today? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, that was yeah. my first time. Did it light not? Huh? Did it light not? Definitely not. Oh. I brutalised it in. I brutalised yeah, it in. Because I was just thinking, wow, this machine's not putting it in solid. Craig gets it in solid all the time. <laughs> so I just slowed right down with like a 14 round shader and coloured the fucker in wow. with Craig Watch. What a day. Up, oh, no, no, no. He looked like he was ready for hospital days later. Right? <laughs> I just feel his, for his your old man. His arm was bruised from his wrist to his armpit. I only touched his elbow. Oof. Yeah, I feel for I, him. I feel for him, man. You know, I don't know if that was calm or on his well, end. I was going to say. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't go into it with malicious sort of intentions. Yeah, you just trying to do that thing. But um, it all worked out in the end. Pack him with that 14 round shot. Yeah. Did, that, he, did he let you tattoo him after? Like, yeah, he's done heaps of Of course he did. Yeah, yeah, so winning. <laughs> it was free. It was free. Free's good. But, um, yeah, that, that's, that's, that was the reality of being a tattoo apprentice back then. Yeah. You know. Aaron, you've been here for like the shortest amount of time in terms of tattooing. What did you find, like, starting out in this shop like this? Uh, like, I've been to a couple other shops and just, uh, you know, just from people that you know and whatnot. It's a very different vibe. Like, Definitely. how do you think your experience is well, here, being this being your first first ever tattoo like gig as well? And yeah, I definitely have it easier than what anyone else has. It, I reckon. You think so? Definitely. Yeah. Is that because your boss is next year? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I really do think so. You hear other stories about other people when they're learning and shit. And it's fucking. Yeah, but you're talking about the horror. Um, what's the word? The hazy. Oh, I was going to say everything, I don't know. 
Why? Like, well, I think I think when everyone else is in the shop so good, it is pressure as well. Do you know what I mean? If you're in a shop, yeah. I think when everyone's shit, you're like, you're probably like, well, everyone else is fucking shit, so you know, whatever. But when the bar gets set high, I think you will gravitate to wherever the bar is. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? If the bar's set low, in general, then you'll just hit that level. Whereas if the bar's set, yeah, higher, yeah you are who you hang out with. Do you think you're forced to try different things outside of like, because? All of us seem to gravitate towards the same sort of shit, you know, sort of like oh, realism okay. shit. Do you think because you're around a bunch of realism chaps that you need to do something different just to stand out? Is that why you gravitate towards that or? Um, no, I think I just really like it, to be honest. Yeah. I think, oh look, I think if I attempted to do what you guys do, I think it would look fucking not, not the best. But the other stuff, I actually would just like it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. I think mean, that's just what I like. Um, I know there's a bit of that zig and zagging, like if people are zigging then you zag, that kind of thing to stand out and look a bit yeah. different. Yeah. But um, I just think it's just what I like as well. Yeah. That kind of stuff is just what I like, which is, which is cool. You're uh, really creative when it comes to the, I know like you do a lot of American traditional sort of stuff. Oh, that kind of stuff, yeah. Um, and uh, what else would you, what else would you class your, I do your, like a lot of flowers. Yours yeah, about? Traditional. Yeah, yeah, the neo-traditional. Like but you're yeah. quite creative though. Like uh, I think, I don't think I've ever been in here and if you're not tattooing, like you're drawing always. Like yeah, there's never a time Aaron, when you're just Aaron hanging out. More than oh, like super God. creative, and like um, even just the amount of time that I've known you guys, oh, only a couple you. of years. Like you've, I can see how how far you've come. Oh, I appreciate you know. That, dude. Thank and you. like I'm I'm not even anywhere near as good as like when I first met you. Let alone now. Like it's it's crazy to see like the evolution and just see see your work get more and more impressive every time. Well, I was shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was crap at drawing, but um, you spent a lot of time. I spent. There. Heaps yeah. of time, yeah. Well, I mean, we yeah. could all we could all learn how to do some fucking gypsy girl heads from yeah, because you could do them in like well four lines or something. Yeah, it's not not like not something any. silly, like yeah. something silly. You could just do a bop, 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 yeah, and we'll and and it look nose, lovely, so. yeah. and and it looks like traditional and lovely and and real nice, mm. you know. But I think it's just like I don't think anyone's born with the ability to do anything. I think you have to actually apply and do it yourself. Yeah. Um, I don't think, I don't think you can not do anything and be naturally gifted and just paint like the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Definitely. Yeah, think, absolutely. You know what I, mean? I think, yeah. I think, I think you have to actually do it and it's like that whole hard work beats talent. That that's yeah, talent right. doesn't do you work I mean? hard. Do you know what um, I mean? So when I think this was kind of what I wanted to do, I was like, I just drew every night and drew every day and looked up what I thought was really sick and I yeah. think what they did really and I yeah. Guess, yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you like, but I guess someone, that's a bit yeah. different to like. Obviously, when when we started, there was no Instagram. There was well, Facebook. I was tattooing by the time Facebook came. We did in. have magazines, um, and but we that's it. it was only tattooing. <laughs> but I mean, but, I bought sorry, one stuff. It was only tattoos we could go from. Like you know, now I can jump on Instagram and I see artists drawing and putting up their drawings, oh, yeah. and mm. I get to see it on different levels. Back then, it was Tattoo Candy, Tattoo Australia. Yeah. That, that was it. But, I only but, got, but we every week you, you would go out and buy. Oh, well, definitely. You always bought mm -hmm. those magazines. Yeah, like you bought the magazines. You, know, you see what was out there. Yeah. Like you know. the idea to be in tattoo candy, I held on such a pedestal, mm -hmm. and I did get in one. Yeah, you That's know, and cool. I thought it was amazing because yeah. they came out once a year. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think it was the blue one because the yellow one was before it, and I remember the red one being after it. But I got in the blue one. It wasn't even like out of all the pieces I sent off. It wasn't even my favorite one. Yeah. But there's categories though. But hey. there was categories, and yeah, that was like a big thing for me to be like, mm. fucking serious. That's a see, that was the pinnacle yeah. before. It was get into a magazine. Now magazines are gone. Yeah. And like, what is the pinnacle? And then everything gets like tipped upside down. Now it's has nothing to do with. Um, it's got to do with your followers. Followers. Yeah. So it has nothing to do with really your work. It's definitely a weird time to be in tattooing for sure. When you say it like that, it's like you're right. The magazines are over. Magazines are over. Yeah. yeah, and it is. It's, is, that, it's, is that funny to hear? It is. Have you heard that before? It is. Yeah, I mean, everyone sort of knows it, but no one really s says it aloud, do they? But the like those people that were maybe looked up to beforehand are still legends in their own right, but not in the same equivalent. You know, it's contemporary now. There's there's new heads coming out that you know you never fucking heard of, and they're the biggest thing. Yeah. Where like yeah. back in the day, like we hold in high regards these like 
people that were in the magazines, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. To yeah. Me, and in the shop, anyone says their names and everyone in the shop knows who you're talking about. Like, who do you like? Like, like when you think of that, like, oh, to me, it's like Paul Booth. Yeah, Paul Bob oh, Terrell. Paul Booth. Yeah, yeah Bob Terrell. Terrell, yeah. you know. Like, like, to be honest, like, but when I see Paul Booth's work now, I'm like, I mean, does Radom spurn him? Oh, yeah. like, is, is, that, like, is that fuck to say? Like, <laughs> yeah. To, to, yeah. I, and I love Paul Booth. Like, yeah. you know, but I mean, right. When you and see Trailblazer that shit, and stuff, obviously, too. And, his and, shit's and, yeah, sick. You know, like, yeah. yeah, but is... But, like, it, it would be like that, you know. Am I just saying that because the dude's up the road and he fucking burns and it's just like, fuck, no, no, dude. No, but I think <laughs> even good, but I think... I, think, <laughs> I, I, I believe that it, it is an industry where if you don't keep up on all fronts, you fall behind. And I think Paul Booth's just fallen behind because, you know, he, he, he stuck to what he does good and he does it fantastic. I haven't seen anything he's done in but a while. But I think, you know, you've got your younger crew who, yeah, they've got, you know, they've got their iPads next to them. Everything's in hands. They're hitting everything. They're doing yeah. everything. Yeah. They're pushing every avenue. Yeah. Where, you know, some of these old people are just like, yeah, bro, I just got the f- fucking photo. I like that one. Where yeah. these guys are like, yeah, no, we're getting all the photos. Well, everything's more accessible and stuff now too, yeah. obviously. For I, and they know the younger this. people and the younger people are getting the more extreme things, which pushes them further. Yeah. I heard this back at, like, sorry, I think I read a magazine with Paul Booth in it. And this was what they were saying. You could buy a house, renovate it and sell it before you could get a tattoo with Paul Booth. That's 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 the dopest thing I've ever heard. So that that's how <laughs> fucking far in advance he was yeah. fucking um, booked, out. booked out. Do you think if you're busy, right? You don't have to change. Well, I think you lose a bit of your hunger. Well, do you know what I mean? You're just yeah. like, hey, I'm doing yeah. my thing, whatever. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm telling you right now, you ain't got shit to do, bro. It's time to grow. I mean, yeah. not for him, he's grown. That's probably yeah. a pretty good <laughs> indication. <laughs> 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 what, I, what do you mean by that? I believe sorry, that. Sorry. <laughs> I believe that. I believe, you know, if, if, you're, if you're not struggling anymore, you lose that hunger. You, you lose that drive, that push, that... Mm. Yeah, like, if, yeah, I, I just don't think, yeah. Because like, if, if, if you have a few cancellations and your week looks quieter, you're like, well, what do I need to do? Yeah, you know, and for some reason you come in and that first tattoo you do off that mindset is you're better. Just like, whoa, oh, okay, yeah, there we go. And it's when you're real busy, you, you look back and then you're like, m- m- that wasn't my best work when I was the busiest. What did I say? It's a correction. Yeah, it's boom. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's go back to fucking the basics. Yeah, do incredible work. It doesn't matter if you're fucking booked out for one day or ten years. Yeah, you need to be crushing it day by day, and yeah. that's all the that fucking matters, man. And when I went back to that, I, my work has fucking been better. Yeah, it's like, hey, man, you need to get back to the fucking basics, bro. Which is like just doing fucking like. Imagine this tattoo is the last thing you're doing. Yeah, I did a tattoo the other day, and it could have went, you know, the other way. It could have been like because it was a bit of a rough. It was rough, like the design. It was a bit messy. That you uh, talking about the it was a digital one, digital painting yeah. thing. It was a what was it? It was like a Harlequin. A Harlequin um, Solitaire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. 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 But, you know, it's not a real life picture or something. You're getting off someone's digital piece that was made for an iPhone and you're blowing it up on an A4 sheet of paper and, you know, that does shit to it. It wasn't the best. It, 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 you know, it wasn't. I don't know how to. What is it? Messy. It was messy yeah. or something. You know, it wasn't it was clean. Loose. It was loose as fuck. Loose. It wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was more like a. It was a painting. You know what I mean? It was yeah. loose. But I fucking put my heart and soul in it, and, and it, it was a fucking good tattoo in the yeah. end. You know what I mean? Like I've really fucking tried. Sometimes you need to like you know extract something from yourself. You know? Yeah. But you only get that when you're like. But maybe you're not booked out forever. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got to keep working for your work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I think you see that in not just tattooing. I think you see that in a lot of industries. You know, like I I think you see that in a lot of professional fighters and everything that once they're big and all that, they start to lose a lot. And Connor, yeah, Yeah, they lose Rocky. They they lose their hunger for it. Yeah, like it's hard to get up in the morning to get punched in the face when when you're bowling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, where you could just be on a yacht. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So what are you doing? Yeah, I, I do like. I do like that wake up call. I think it keeps you young. I think it keeps you alive. Mm. Yeah. You know, 
probably it's completely probably the opposite. It's probably going to put you in an early grave that amount of stress. But they it's, will. It's yeah. good. It's good. It definitely it's will. like an adrenaline rush. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because you'll be doing a tattoo sometimes <laughs> without the fitness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, there's no fitness. Um, but you'll be doing a tattoo sometimes where it'll get to one or two o'clock in the afternoon and you'll get off your first break and you're like, I don't know if I was fucking breathing at all. You're yeah. just like, you're dead still, the whole tattoo, so. Yeah, like a sniper. We'd be good snipers. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, not if we had to move, but. <laughs> 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 you're like, what about going over there? It's like, nah, I'll just stay here, mate. I'm gonna be stationed you know here. Mean? Yeah, my back hurts, I can't run. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just sitting in a chair in a shit position for <laughs> yeah. hours on end, you know. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, the lazy snipers. Nah, but yeah, just keeps you going. That's cool, man. Yeah. They guys have something cool, something special. Yeah, um, I, I think I think for you know there might be people who've been tattooing five, ten years, who are probably getting who are better than people who've been probably, probably doing it for twenty years time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because yeah, things are so much more accessible. You can see what other people are doing. But is it because the people see, for know, twenty years set a bar? Oh, that'd be very stuck and in the their people ways. People for five years have to get to that bar. Probably. Otherwise, what's, what's the point? Yeah, like, probably. You can't spend forever not getting to that bar. Otherwise, yeah. you will just fizzle off and disappear. It's the yeah. new standard. It, yeah. yeah. It's the it's, yeah. it's an evolution that is required. It actually requires sacrifice in the in the big scheme of things. Yeah. But, but at the same time, at the start, I'm sure that it was sacrifice as well because they didn't even know what was capable. Absolutely. They, yeah. they were probably trailblazers. Mm. You mm. know, uh, okay. I've been in it where things have hit the scene, right? And I'm like, oh, that's new. I've never seen that before. And I'm like, I don't know if I can keep up with that. Yeah. And what I mean by that is like realistic smoke. Yeah. Right? And I remember someone asked for it and I was like, oh, and I'd seen someone in Adelaide do it. And I was like, you know what? I think that might be beyond me, man. You know, I think that's beyond my capability. And I fucking did it. And I fucking I did it good. It was really it was good. It was, I fucking nailed it. But at that point, you had to rise above what you thought was even capable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I remember when someone came in wanting a wolf and they wanted realistic fur, and like I'd never fucking done that with a pencil. You know, like so you actually had to get better at uh, art. Yeah. And and it's all good to be like, oh, did you do that before? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really draw howling wolves with like at, like Antarctica behind it. No, yeah. never. No, like it never came up, man. Like yeah. to be honest, like you know, look, I did line work drawings. You know, like I, I was influenced by cartoons. I would look up car. You know, I'm a child. Yeah. You, you know what you watch when you're a fucking kid? Yeah. Daffy yeah. Duck, yeah, motherfucker. Beavers, bro. <laughs> fucking <laughs> random Stimpy as a drawing, you know? Yeah, but it's yeah. 2D, bro. Like, it's, yeah. you know, it's got an outline, whatever. So I was, like, working on straight lines and shit. Like, you know, it, it was beyond my capability, like, even in my brain. Mm. And then you become a tattooist and it's tribal with a fucking butterfly. And then it goes from that to, oh, I'll take the howling wolf, please, mm. with the realistic fur. And you're like... Uh, what the f what are you fucking even on about yeah, yeah. so you, you try this this was like the standard when I first started tattooing it was doing straight lines shading from dark to light smooth and also in colour and then I opened my own shop and people were asking for fucking textures and I'm like that never came up mm. yeah that goes outside of um, what was taught and now it's like you need to go back to the drawing board. You need to go back to, and I'm I'm looking up art tutorials to even know how to even do a texture. I did textures in um, uh, airbrushing and stuff, but it was you know you got to imagine it's fucking airbrushing. It's not fucking completely yeah. different. Yeah, you're like how do you do? actually? It was somewhat the same. It's kind of similar. Oh, okay. It was actually the same. You know what I mean? And that, and that's what I actually took to tattooing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and I did the same thing. And then once I started doing that, then I started seeing other people doing that. Mm. Yeah, I didn't see it until you did it. Yeah. But I saw you do it in person. I never did it till then. Yeah. But when you do it, like, and then people are seeing it, and I'm sure that, like, when you see something, you break it down, you, uh, like, you pull it apart. Yeah with your mind and you go well how did they get to that point and whatever and then I'm sure that they figure it out but it's when someone's showing you a photograph and you don't you're like what the fuck am I doing here you know what I mean mm -hmm. and I guess you need to be creative 
You need to be. You, you need to step outside of your paradigm to get this fucking thing done, to get paid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, you know, like you're yeah. in you're in the hole. You've paid for a shop, and now people are asking for things that are just out, outside of your capability. Yeah, I mean, there's crazy progressive stuff. Anyway, I, I seen a, a guy the other day out of Korea doing liquid gold on statues, and it's just like. Fucking how, dude. I think I did see. Yeah. Is it like opaque grey and then he's put like, he's done like yellow and brown. With Basically. Like, what do yeah. you mean as a tattoo? Oh, as a tattoo. Oh, tattoo. I, I thought you meant for some of these guys. Sorry. Some guy doing a no, that, that's and I'm like, what I thought. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that, that's, <laughs> that's what I was I've like. I've seen it, yeah. but then like as a tattoo. Oh, you sorry. Do break it down. You do break it down. You're like, yeah. okay. So oh, black, brown, yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah. Like. I, I yeah black, brown, seen, yellow. Yeah. I have seen, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I have seen <laughs> <a> dripping, <laughs> like a dripping gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, brown. Yeah. <laughs> <That's what it laughs> Don't ruin the yeah. illusion, Lou. Brown, Luke. Caramel. Caramel. brown, canary, yellow, yeah. and a bit of white highlights. Don't ruin the illusion. What do I use? What, what's the what's the yellow uh, I use? Lightning yellow. Oh, lightning yellow, caramel, brown, dark brown, black. That's right. Done. That's right. That's, that's, the, that's the story. But it probably look different in a month when it's healed. It probably won't be like. Oh, I haven't seen any healed photos. Oh, no, no, I haven't seen any. I was like, like this look. is not going to look. I just remember that time, like, Lou doesn't do color really at all much. And that tattoo came in and he needed to do yellow. And he's like, Where's my caramel? Where's my caramel? <laughs> 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 but you had used it all. You're like, I don't know. Yeah, and I and he's like, it. I never do color at the one time. Danny was funny. He was furious. He was like, I would have been fine if I had caramel. How's this, right? How's this? When It would have been. It would have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Aaron quiet in the corner. Like, yeah, weird. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Right. That was. So you would good. use all my colors, bro, and they would come back, and you would just leave the fucking the lid open, open, and they'll just be all fucking dry, and I'm like, <laughs> but that's fine. That's cool. It's not, <laughs> you don't do it anymore. No, 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 no. They're all gone. It was, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't replaced I them. Haven't <laughs> that's right. And I'm too much of a tight ass. Yeah, you're the only thing that stayed. <laughs> that's right. Um, yeah. But like when I yeah, first okay. got here I had like Blends from Yellow You know Black to yellow Black to blue Black to You know All the normal colours You know what yeah, I mean But only like a handful colors. of colours Was it? Yeah like six colours but there, There's a little bit more But like basically Yeah Yeah. And, and you sort of Taking the piss out of me Whatever You know what I mean But then you still took Bunch of colours. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what yeah. colours I had, you know what I mean? They were long gone. And, uh, That's yeah. Long gone. That's, right. That's actually why Lou only does black now. Yeah. 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 It's all out. Like, if, if you so had a, a midnight blue, I would have yeah. used that too. So you have four yeah. good midnight blues. Four midnight blues? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Your colour palettes, man. I don't know. No, it's not mine. No, it's just someone keeps opening them all. Not me. I don't use midnight blue. I don't think that color. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, now we've got Mariana Strange, which is the same fucking like three color. Of them. Like, yeah, no, I hate Midnight Blue. Uh, Midnight Blue's no good. The best thing for Midnight Blue is mixing three quarters white with it to just get a lighter color. Like, get to that country that's blue. It, that's what it's good for. Like. Yeah.